So we're multifaceted, multi-talented on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. We don't play around. We're not gonna just do any old mukbang. Any old Jamaican food, mukbang, whatever. We're gonna cook what we eat. And today we're gonna make the basics, super basic Jamaican dishes. Jerk chicken, rice and peas, oxtail, fried plantain, uh, festivals, and a beef patty. All from scratch. All from scratch. And all you need is just one pot, there's one spoon, and there's one plate. You're just gonna put it over like that. Boom. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have your Jamaican food. Fresh, super simple, ingredients listed in the bio. Come on. Look at this, it looks amazing. I made it all homemade, just all by myself. Did not need anyone help. Let me tell you guys, my recipe's nice. Passed down from generations to generations. It's super good, the jerk chicken's looking good. Oxtail, this took a little bit longer time in the pot, but you know. Oh, it's too dark. It's a little bit longer in the pot, but you know it's looking nice. You're looking right. Got the oxtail and the jerk chicken, all made from scratch. Completely handmade, family recipe. Looking delicious, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ram Emanuel channel. Ugh. And today we are gonna do a Jamaican food mukbang. For those of you who don't know, I am half Jamaican and I find this food super delicious. And we're just doing a basics today. We're just doing a oxtail jerk chicken, rice and peas, and a, a beef patty. I ordered festivals. I ordered festivals. I, yeah, I didn't cook this food, by the way. Yeah, that was obviously. If you didn't get that joke, then I don't know what to tell you. But I did not cook. I did not cook this food. But we are doing the basics. I ordered festivals, and they gave me fried plantain. I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not complaining because honestly, I don't really be eating festivals with most of this food. I get the carbs from the rice and peas, so I'm not too worried. So let's get straight into it. Um, I had some a poll on my I mean a question thing on my Instagram pulled up just so we can talk you know I have some things to go off of while I eat and you know so you guys are just bored and I'm not talking about nothing okay so we're gonna pull those up and make sure y'all get your food ready it doesn't have to be Jamaican food just get your food ready come sit down vibe with me you know it's like we're on lunch break at work come sit down have some lunch let's catch up how are you how the kids how's the family how's work how's school going you know, we. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to hear about it. Also, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm trying to, you know, grow this channel as much as I can. Uh, like the video. You know, obviously that helps the algorithm. And yeah, comment. Comment what you want to see me eat next. Comment what videos you want to see. Obviously, I have this big ass personality, and uh, I'm I'm trying to explore and be more creative with these videos. I just thought I, thought I would do something simple to start it off. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me get some water. Ugh. You know you got the water in here. I got this big jug because you know when you go to be when you go into the restaurants, they're giving you a glass of water this big. And for me, that's not enough. Like, leave the jug there, or just be there at all times to to pour me some water. Because honestly, I'd be drinking water like crazy, especially when I'm eating. My mouth gets dry. All right, let's get into it. So first thing, first things first, we gotta get the classic jerk chicken. We gotta give this a try. Oh yeah, shout out to this place by the way. It's called Twice as Nice. Um, actually, uh, I don't know if I want to be giving away that information, but you're either gonna hear the name of the restaurant or you're not. I might edit it out, but one of my favorite Jamaican spots from where I'm, where I'm staying. Oh my god. Hold on, let me get to these questions in a bit. Give me a second. I listen, I ordered enough for me and my bro. But honestly, this is so good, I might just eat his his portion too. Ah. Uh. 
See, the thing about their jerk chicken is that they throw it on the grill. So it gets that nice char. The only thing I wish it was a little bit more spicy, man. That's the one, that's the one down part about this place. The, the food's really good, but I wish this jerk chicken was spicier. I'm just, I'm just like that. I like, I like spice. They gave me hot sauce, but I don't know if I want to use that. Honestly, I just don't want to be, I just don't want to get up. I'm kind of lazy. One of the questions I got, wow. One of the questions I got is, what is the meaning of life? Listen. Zoom in. We're gonna get deep real quick. Pause. The meaning of life is very subjective. It differs with every person. It all depends on your situation. For me, the meaning of life is to find and do something that makes you happy, as well as gives you the opportunity to take care of the people you love, you know? And that's what I'm kind of doing with this this whole YouTube thing. I'm trying to, you know, share my personality, get it out there. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. Hopefully, y'all watch continuously. And you like the content I put out, man. Because, like, at the end of the day, I'm open for feedback, you know. I know a lot of the, my newest, the first few subscribers are probably going to be pers personal friends. And, you know, feel free to let me know what you guys want to see as well. Like, in person, like, we'll, we'll talk. Hey man, Uber Eats might be the death of me. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I am currently not working because I had an ACL repair surgery actually a few weeks ago. And um, this is Oxtail, by the way. I had a repair a few weeks ago and um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just, right now I'm taking some time off work just to, to catch up with school and rehab the legs so I can get back to doing all the stuff, you know, I love working out, playing sports, everything like that. And Uber Eats has been rinsing my wallet, putting weight on me. How are you giving me all these delicious food options at, the, at my fingertips? I don't even have to look at the person in the face. They drop it at my door. I, I started doing real food and like actual recipes. You guys can check out. So yeah, go check out my Instagram. Go see all that's in. Hey, man. Hey, man. Let me tell you something. If you've never had fried plantain, and yes, I call it plantain, not plantain. It's plantain. It's so, it's like a dessert in between, in between your meal. Like, I don't know how to, like, I usually used to eat it on Sundays after, you know, a heavy, like, fish or something lunch, like some red snapper or some kingfish. And we'd have some plantain just, just for snacks around that, like, or while we're running around the house, just run into the kitchen. There's some plantain on some paper towel because it just come up, come out the fryer or the pan. And then and you just eat it right there. It's sweet. It's so good. I, I urge you guys to try that if you ever go to Jamaican place. Definitely ask and see if they have some fried plantain. I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm talking into the mic when I should be looking at the camera. <laughs> um, and for me, a class, like if I don't get, um, if I'm getting, if you're getting Jamaican food, this is pro tip number one. If you're getting Jamaican food, oxtail gravy is a best friend. Oxtail gravy is your best friend because rice and peas is the, the the rice and peas that it comes with. It's soup. It could be super dry at times. And if they if they give you the option, they say, "Baby, what you want? You want gravy on the rice or something like that?" Say yes, yes, please. Oxtail gravy. You can get stew, chicken gravy, whatever you want, but me, oxtail gravy is the way to go. Keep that that rice nice and fresh. Give me a piece of chicken. Uh, keep that rice nice and moist. Man, I'm telling you, it gives it a nice sweetness. And you throw the coleslaw that they give you on the side in it, mix it up, have a little bite. Mmm. So basically, 
what I wanted to do with this must buck bang is um go in depth on like exactly what I want to do with this channel. I have a bunch of ideas. I filmed a bunch of videos, but I've never put them out because I wasn't I wasn't proud of, I wasn't I wasn't feeling the end result. You know what I mean? For any of you guys, or if you make videos or creators out there, you know what I mean. You put some time and effort into something, you get it ready to be put out into the world, and then you at last second you're like, mm, there's some things I want to change. Maybe I'm just a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff because like, it's my creativity. So if anything, if, if you don't like any part of this video, it's it's a direct, it's directly coming from me. All this is me. All this production is me. You know what I mean? But you can't be that sensitive. You just gotta put it out there. Get it started. Get the balls rolling, and you know, get it, get it done. So that's what I'm doing right now. Simple little video. I really love food. I love comedy. So I'm trying to be like something kind of like. I'm not. I, I want to do. I want to get into skits. My dream has always been to kind of have a show, kind of like um, Diners, Drivers, and Dives, or Send Foods, like Timothy Delgado Send Foods. I'm just traveling because your boy loves the game. I would love to have a sick stre streaming setup for Twitch. It's always been a goal of mine. Uh. You see where this right here? One, two, three, four. One. Okay, I'm just, I was gonna say a pentagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this wonderfully shaped piece of pastry is called a Jamaican beef patty. And you know, I don't play around like I said before. I like my food spicy. Hot ones. If I ever get famous enough, if I ever get enough quote unquote clout, I would love to be on that show. I would love to die. I'm definitely going to die. I'm not saying I'm the best with heat, but I just like that feeling. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I'm a psychopath. But this right here, where we, where, I'm, where I grew up, a part of everyone's lunchtime experience or going home experience. You come to the the, 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 the bus station. There's a little, little, little shops in there. You can always get a, a spicy beef patty on cocoa bun. I didn't get any cocoa bun because I knew I already had the rice for carbs. Don't need more carbs, okay? We're, we're, I'm at home chilling. I don't need to gain any more weight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, this right here, essential part of the like, my childhood, man. I swear, the the best ones. We all know, y'all know where you you guys don't know where I'm from, but those who do, you know where the where to get the best ones of these. Everyone has their own opinion on where to get the best ones of these in the city. I've never had these from this restaurant in particular, so I'm excited to try it out. But yeah, Jamaican patties, isotrate. Oh my god. Let me let me let me let me get into it and then I'm gonna tell you some stories. Hey man. say this when it comes to Jamaican food we do not skimp on the seasoning I promise you every single one of these things is seasoned super nicely down to the rice people even the beans the rice and peas the peas the kidney beans that are in here anyways this patty is actually pretty good flaky and the filling is nice um basically during school you know I would I would have Obviously, in my freezer, I'd have a bunch of frozen patties. I'd heat them up in the morning and bring them to school. This right here would get you so many things at lunchtime. I know y'all be training your Dunkaroos, your, your Gushers, da 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 No. I'm like, let me switch it up. I'm a, I'm a foodie. I'm a global. I'm trying to find all these 
different I'm trying to try, try all these different cuisines I want to try Indian roti I want to try um, longonisa from the Philippines I want to try garlic garlic rice again from the Philippines I want to try uh, cabbage rolls from um, Poland you know weird stuff and with this patty it's universally delicious okay every culture loves these things so if you bring this it's like having gold at the lunch table you say hey I got a patty and I don't really want it do you want to trade brother we're securing we're securing bags using a beef patty I believe it if you had a if you had this I could bring this to school during Halloween times in elementary school. During elementary school, I can bring this in, in October and secure a bag of candy from a kid. Because they don't have these at their house for some reason. I don't know why. They probably have it now, but when we were kids, they weren't thinking, uh, they didn't think, oh, when we go to the grocery store, let me ask my mom to see if we can get some patties. No. Hey, ma'am. And I see why. If I wasn't, if I didn't have this all the time, I'd be in love with it. I have it all the time, and I'm still in love with it. It's just something so easy, and the pastry is so nice. Holy, I'm getting full. Some water. Are y'all enjoying this? This is pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I'd be good at mukbangs, but you know, I can talk my ass off. Um, let's get into this oxtail. I didn't even talk about this. Oxtail used to be so damn cheap because it's ex of exactly what it is. It's an oxtail. An ox's tail. A cow tail. It used to be so cheap. It was the discarded pieces. And now, since everyone wants to, now everyone loves it off because of Asian cuisine as well as Jamaican cuisine. They'd be loving it off, and now it's super expensive to get. This is oxtail was the most expensive thing I got in this in this whole thing. It used to be so cheap. But hey, man, you gotta pay to eat good. I'm not gonna say it's a duck. I could, I will say it's a delicacy. Cause how do you make something like a tail? Tastes so goddamn delicious. It's tender. It's sweet. Seasoned down to the damn bone. If you go to a cookout or a barbecue or whatever type of gathering, you'll see every Jamaican uncle. Sucking on their oxtail bones. Because there's so much fat in it. It's so good. By the way, all this is cool. And I'm still having a great ass time. Because it took a long time to set this up. The camera. The audio. Audio. Hello. Testing. You look great today. I woke up today day with nothing to do. I was gonna sit my ass over there and play some Warzone all day. Shout out to shout out to my squad. You know who you are. Uh, let's go get some dubs tonight. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to see a gaming channel. Or like a Twitch, I'll stream me playing. We'll have a good time. We'll laugh it up, chop it up. You know, you'll see me dealing with some news. We'll play some scary games, maybe, because I'm a. I promise you, I love scary movies and scary games, but I flinch like a mother. I swear, I flinch like crazy. So that would be pretty enjoyable for y'all to watch. I 
I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this 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 channel, but I wanted to start. I wanted to put something out there. Because I keep saying I keep if y'all follow me on my Instagram, I, I I posted a clip of an old video that I edited. People are like, drop it, drop it, drop it, we need this. I'm like, unfortunately I don't have any clips. That was the only clip I had because I didn't like how the video turned out. This one is a mukbang, not too much editing. I'm gonna do a little something at the start, maybe with that thing, that little scene of me shaking, cooking the food. But you know, okay, I need my hands. I need to use my hands. But yeah, man. You know? Excuse me while I destroy this jerk chicken. Damn, I wish it was spicier, man. I like that spice. And and the peppers that Jamaican people use, the one the one I've seen most, Scotch bonnet. And if you haven't had Scotch bonnet, I heard it's very similar to a habanero, but it has this distinct flavor. It's like tangy, kind of sweet. Spice to it is so nice. It's in the rice and peas. Some most people put in their rice and peas when they're cooking it in the the, the pot. Maybe I'll do a video of me showing y'all how to make rice and peas, and I'll do my jerk chicken recipe too. I don't scrimp on the scratch money. I'll tell you that right now. I'm almost done now. Do I leave some oxygen? I'm gonna definitely have some guests on here because eating it by yourself just seems a little bit sad. Ugh. Damn, that's good, man. Honestly, when the food is good, I don't care who's around me. I'm gonna eat a mile a minute. I don't even care who's sitting on next, sitting across from me. I swear to God. I'm gonna pause off a little bit of this coleslaw. We're gonna call it an end to this video. But yeah. DM me. Tell me what you think. Let me know how, if you have any suggestions on how to, how I should set up my mic, how I should do the lighting, how I should edit it, how, what I should do for videos, like just ideas in, in general. Let me know. We're a small channel over here. We're open to suggestions. Right now we're on the road to a thousand, a thousand subscribers. Actually, let's take it step by step. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. I need y'all. I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to share with as many people as possible. Let them know that there's a very vibrant, very energetic, light skinned kid. Trying to get, you know, trying to get his YouTube YouTube thing on, you know. And he's doing, he did a little funny little mukbang, and maybe y'all should check it out. And he has more stuff coming. Well, y'all out there, if y'all really want something, man, stay motivated. Um, don't let life kick you down and 
stop you from striving for what you want in others' life. You know, there's a lot of things going on in everyone's lives. Everyone goes, everyone goes through trials and tribulations. Just make sure that you're taking care of yourself, your mental. Take some time for yourself. Make sure that you're okay. And power through. Get the energy. You know you have it. You always have the energy. Power through. It makes you happen. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make stuff and something happen for myself. Um, you know, I'm in school right now, but that's my plan B. To be honest, I'm really trying to entertain y'all. I don't. I I want to do this. I love this. I love. I love to see. I want to hear the feedback. I want to see see people come up to me and be like, "Wow, those are, you did a great job on that video." Or you, you know, I I, I made. He made you made me smile that day when I was feeling a little bit down. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to entertain. I'm trying to make sure you know I can brighten someone's day. It's what I do this for, and this this is what this is my. That's always been my. That's how. That's always been my personality. That's always been my passion. Just making sure people around me that are smi are smiling. If you know me, you know that. So this is just yeah. I'm really excited to be starting this journey. Uh, not to get all sentimental with y'all, but yeah, I'm excited. I look like probably look like a mess. My nose is probably running, even though it wasn't spicy at all. But that's just how my body works. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I have a video for you guys real soon. Um, I'm not too sure what it's gonna be yet, but we'll, you know, I'm gonna get to the I'm getting I'm gonna get to the drawing board. We're gonna write it up and, and knock it out and get it to you guys. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Thank you so much for like, commenting, and subscribing. Share with your friends if you can. Um, yeah, let's get this road to 100 subscribers, and then I'll, and then we'll we'll start on that road to 1,000 subscribers. Baby steps, baby steps. And maybe I'll take all along with me on my uh, recovery journey. I'll start vlogging a little bit more. Show you what yeah. it's like to recover from ACL tear. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh. Hey, I can't relax When it comes to paper, all I speak is facts I don't stand still, bitch, I like to dance And if the lean spell, I'ma change my pants You, you, hit me up I'm the hottest youngin' in the city, uh In the 